Well, I think that the challenges and opportunities for young people in agriculture are very significant. And I think uh, if organizations such as ICRASAT do not uh, rise to the challenge and help countries to develop solutions to the problems of youth in agriculture, uh, the future of agriculture in the semi-arid tropics could be very bleak. And I say this for a variety of reasons. First of all, we know worldwide that demographically the age of our farmers in traditional landscapes is actually declining. And we have fewer and fewer people who are getting involved in agriculture. And because ICRASAT's work is in the semi-arid tropics, which is a very harsh environment, I think it is very obvious that as families uh, gain a bit more wealth in rural areas, their children will seek out other economic opportunities away from agriculture and away from farming as we know it. And this will put a very significant damper on the economic status of rural economies and as particularly in agrarian countries. Therefore, ICRASAT has to do much more than it is currently doing to be able to make a tra uh, agriculture more attractive to youth in the semi-arid tropics. Youth think of agriculture as a very back-breaking task. Uh, it's all uh, with respect to the use of hoes and uh, pulling a hole through the soil and we have to be able to move to more types of mechanization. I don't mean uh, the use of big large machines on a large scale. I'm talking about um, small uh, hand equipment, hand powered uh, equipment that's uh, powered by small uh, uh, diesel engines, small motors, that uh, farmers could afford in rural areas, but we have to make the technology um, affordable for uh, youth. We have to be able to train youth on the use of these uh, machines that would help with land preparation, uh, help with tillage and seeding operations, and then help with uh, thrashing and post-harvest operations. If we could uh, work with the private sector on the development of these small hand tools that would make uh, agriculture less backbreaking and more attractive to youth, I think we would go a long way in attracting more youth to agriculture. But at the same time, it's not all about mechanization. There are other technologies that also need to be thought about as a package for making agriculture more attractive to youth in the semi-arid tropics. And I could think here of the power of digital agriculture and how we could use mobile applications and digital technologies to be able to help the youth to determine the best seeds and varieties uh, for the location in which uh, they are farming, to be able to find markets and uh, markets that have high value for the crops that they are growing. Uh, this is all part of uh, the digital revolution in agriculture that I think will be very attractive uh, to youth. And the same thing with uh, seed technology. How do we make uh, modern varieties, new varieties that are more drought resistant, heat tolerant, available uh, to the youth so that they can see more economic advantages and market opportunities for them in the rural areas. These are the kinds of things that we have to do for youth. There's also a major aspect around education. We have to uh, mount massive training programs for youth in agriculture to train them in technologies, the use of technologies, the application of technologies in agriculture. And I think ICRASAT is well poised to help to put on some of those training programs with the local colleges uh, and universities and technical schools as well. And then I think uh, equally important are the market development programs that we need 
to put in place. And so ICRASAT's strategy around uh, inclusive market-oriented development, IMOD, will go a long way in helping the youth to find uh, new market opportunities for them that are much more inclusive, financially inclusive, and that would empower them to take charge of their own uh, economic well-being and those of their families.